Put the General at arm. We can't hold this. Pull out every available brigade in the area and hurry. Right, sir. when he invented the BBC, didn't they? And they laughed at Mr. Paul when he invented Littlewood. But look at the money they've made. Yeah, but their inventions didn't stink. How do you expect to put fires out with that washing day mixture of yours? Yeah. Washing day mixture? I like that. It's a scientific formula. It's, uh, it's K2SO4 plus, uh, uh, plus K3LO5 yeah. plus, uh, plus X. Yeah. Here, what's X? Yeah. Well, if I knew what that was, I wouldn't be standing here listening to you talking dribble, would I? Anyway, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not what I tried the last time. Hello. This is Bishop Swallop, fire chief speaking. Who? Headquarters? Oh, oh, oh yes. Uh, what's it, sir? Oh, no, sir, no. No, there'll be no fire here. No. This is no time for you, my sir. There's an oil factory blazing at Lake's Cross. Why haven't you answered the brigade call? Ah, oh, because there's been no call here. You sure you've got the right number? Huh? It's ringing now? Oh, no. No, our alarm's not ringing. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's a technical issue. I'll let you. Hey, we'll come along at once. We'll gallop all the way. Hey! Yes. How long has that sock been there? Oh, ever since you had insomnia. Well, that was last Sunday. Yes. Well, take it out at once. No wonder there have been no fires this week. Oh! 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 We can get a fire somewhere. Yes, Dad. Of course there's a fire. There's been a fire for hours. And we should have been at it. Go on, get your helmet. Hey, who's had the hose? You had it last, watering the garden. Well, never mind who had it. Who won't get it, Harper? Oh, my. Where's Percy? Standing by, I suppose. Yeah. Well, don't think of him. We can't go to a fire without him. All oh, right, keep your wool on. Give me on me. Yes, sir. We're leaving straight away, sir. Yes. What's that? Oh, fresh orders. Oh, wait a minute. I'll take them down. 
Yes, what is it? Half a pound of demerara, yes. Pound of sneaky bait, yes. Whoa, 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 Percy! All right, sir, coming right away, sir! Right, all right! Say where's the fire? Why not? Well, it looked bad. much farther than that the way we came. Charlie. Yeah. Get a picture. This will make a great story. Okay, I'll go and get a plate. Hey, hey, about that fire. You better read about it. And don't go away. Oil factory blaze. Flames 90 feet high. 50 fire brigades take all night to quell. Oh, he's right. That put it out. Oh, we better go home then. Well, it seems a pity after coming all this way, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Hey, look in the stock press. Maybe there's a little bit still burning. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's another fire. Yeah? Town hall ablaze. Did you say what town hall? Yes, yeah, ours. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh. Hey? This is what a town hall of late. Hey, we better go back at once. Come on, all hands to take first and second away. I'm going to ring the bell. Hey, you. Ring up, Mrs. Watt. Tell him we're on the way and see if he goes when we get back. Wait a minute. Yes. Okay. Go on. The engine that never got there. They are with the laughing stock of the whole country. Look. Our own town hall burnt under our noses, thanks to this trio of blundering incompetence. Mr. Mayor, during the past six months, 17 of our valuable properties have been destroyed by fire. And what is more, there is no record of any of them having been put out. Uh, uh, objection. Uh, if they hadn't been put out, they'd still be burning, wouldn't they? That remark is out of order. Uh, oh, uh, just a moment, please. I see there's one here that was put out. Yeah. Oh, was it? Which one was that? A beach farm on the night of October the 1st. Beach? Beach? That's right. Don't you remember it came on the right? Uh, <coughs> yes, it's quite right. Beach farm. Even so, they still leave 16 properties destroyed by fire. To say nothing in the town hall. This wasn't our fault. We had another fire. Exactly. We can't put out two fires at once, can we? No, we've only got one square there. But you can put out either fire, sir. Uh, the mark's out of order. Oh, no, it isn't. Yes. Oh, is it? No. Mind, anyway, it's in very bad taste. And how do you expect it to be efficient when you never give us any money for equipment? We gave you 20 pounds for equipment um, last June. Yeah. For equipment? Oh, tell me, I thought that was a bonus. Uh, June? No wonder he went to that door. Yeah. Makes you think, doesn't it? Yeah. I propose to sack the lot of them and save the town a halfpenny rate. There you are, a halfpenny rate. I mean, what sort of farm do you expect to get for two a penny? Fifty measly quid a year to keep three men in the horse? And you're fitting the sector because we can't put out two fires at once. I demand a vote. Yes, One yes. moment, gentlemen, please. I think there is something in what Captain Viking says. Yes. I think we might give him one more chance. You're wasting your time, yes. sir. Oh, no, he's not, sir. It'll mean, Viking, that we shall draw the next fire as a test case. Quite, sir. We'll expect you to reach it at once and to put it out immediately. You can consider it out now, sir. <coughs> in the meantime, I would suggest you take a trip to London. To study their latest firefighting methods. Uh, well, London, London, London can't teach me anything. Why, with my invention, I, I can put I on a... think it would be a very good idea, Captain Viking. Oh, well, if you insist. <laughs> what day should we make it? Yeah, make it Saturday. We can see the cup tires as well. Yeah, shut up. Uh, 
Let me see now. Uh, what about Saturday? I think that might be arranged. Oh, good. I shall want some money for three first-class tickets. Very good. Yes, and see that you buy on this time, not one first and two platform tickets like the last time. That wasn't my fault. The booking clerk made a mistake. I asked for three platform tickets. <coughs> Five again, forward. Dual purpose supply. Now, this is the latest LCC type Leyland Puff. Oh, Leyland Puff. Mm. But now it's a much earlier model, although the uh, principle's the same. Yes. How I can you squirt? I beg your pardon? How I can you squirt? Uh, he means, uh, to what altitude can you project a jet of water? No, I don't. I mean, how I can you squirt? Under full pressure, this engine is capable of pumping 900 gallons per minute. Ah, 900, eh? Ah, that's not bad. Of course, that's just a few more gallons than our engine pumps. Yeah, nearly 900 more. I, uh, I suppose, um, uh, what's the name, to make quite a bit of money out of inventing a thing like this? Well, they seem to do very well out of it. Ah. <clears throat> yes, I say, uh, uh, supposing a man invented a preparation that will put out a big fire, uh, like that one at Lake's Cross, say, in 15 minutes. Oh, he'd make a fortune. Oh. Why, you know someone who's done it. Uh, but I know someone who thinks they have. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, what's that, Lunch? Oh, it's fine. Oh, 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 How's that for a smart turn-up? Oh, not bad, not bad at all. Of course, we have done it in 26. 26? Well, I know it was well under the half hour. Did you mean to say it takes you 26 minutes to turn up? Oh, well, you must remember we're not mechanized. See, we've got a horse, and sometimes it takes us a quarter of an hour to find him. I see. Well, I suggest the sooner you bring your brigade up to date, the better. We two met you, Mr. Uh, Viking. Mr. Viking. Viking. Right. 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 Up to date. Who do you think he is? He's only a fireman the same as us. London swank. Yes. You wait till we're mechanized. Yeah. Hey, you mean to say we're going to have control boards and poles the same as this? Exactly. Oh, well, then it's a good job I'm not this off. Look. <laughs> Can't I take you anywhere without you knocking something off? Hey, have you knocked off anything too? Yeah. What? Yeah. I, I mean, it's a bit of my own. I'm not going to be a party to it. Well, what do you want us to do? Put it all back again? Certainly not. I think we've done it with a lot of feet. Well, make up your mind. What do you want us to do with it? Get out of it before they miss it. Go on, get out. Get out. Hey, hurry up there. I can't hold this pole all day. All right, all right. We're doing it as fast as we can. You said I could have a chance. Okay, you finish it off. All right. <laughs> Please, Lord, my dear Lord, I'm coming to have a new Now, listen to the old fool. Hey, cut out the singing and get on with it. Now, come on, hey, be on the teacup. When the wind blows, they clean the roof up. When the bell breaks, they clean the roof up. Well, this end's thick and the other end's thin, you see. We're trying to put the thick end up. Oh, 
what difference does that make? Well, the difference of anything standing on its feet in. Stalk still. Eh? Uh, Stalk standing on their feet in. Uh, what are you talking about? Him in. I mean, you'll get one on your big end in a minute. Well, come on, help me put it in. Right. We'll have to take it out in the street and, and bring it in the other way around. Right. Right. Of this car. I am. What the devil do you mean by smashing my window? Listen, it's entirely your own fault. Don't you know it's illegal to park outside a fire station? I'll have you summoned for this. Police! Police! Oh, Help! All right, all right. There's no need to be truculent. It's an accident. It doesn't happen to anybody. Arbuttle, come out here. I didn't do it. Never mind who did it. Help me get it out. Yes, sir. Woo! Who made that noise? It's Mike. Mike? Ah, oh, oh, shut up. Hi. Get that phone out the way. Oh, shut up. Hey, hey, you, you. Stop making that noise. This gentleman was here before you. Yes. Well, it's no use taking it back again. It'll be quicker to push it through. Push it where you like, but get it out of here. It's mine, don't we? Now, get it out of it. Ready, he. Oh, yes, mine is the gentleman's chair. Yes, sir, we'll go away and leave it here. Now, come on, shoot me. He. 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 I say. What? Do you know you're holding all the traffic up? Go away, no way, hold it. Go away and play with it. Get out of it. Now, oh, come on, heave, and how much you push? Come on. Now, it's no harder than that. Come on. Heave. 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 Get away from Hey, hey, let's go, call you old fool. Will you tell me to heave? Yeah, but you'll be one heaving club all the time. No, no. Hey, 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 hey. What is it now? Uh, what are you trying to do? We're trying to turn our pole around. Oh, uh, with what object? Will you push off? Are you going to get this thing out of my car or not? Oh, that's all right. We're doing our best, aren't we? You know you're defeating your own papa. Huh? I have it here. According to Proposition 5 of the second book of Euclid, if a straight line is divided equally and also unequally, the rectangle contained by the unequal part and the square on the line between the points of section are together equal to the square on half the line. <laughs> Well, what's that going to do with me? Well, assuming the street to be the rectangle, by withdrawing the straight line, i.e. the pole, within the point of section, i.e. the china shop, the traffic may proceed. Q-E-D. Uh, well, shall I tell you something? Yes. You can proceed. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, let's get this thing fixed. All right, all right. It's perfectly simple. All we've got to do is to take it in the china shop and let the traffic proceed. You stay here. Uh, Albert, come with me. Oh, now, you go inside to see the other end. Okay. Cut out the mic. Hey, what are you doing that for? I've never been to get through, haven't I? Oh, uh, ready, Hamadou? Yes, I'm ready. All right. Heave. Uh, what's going on here? And, and what are you doing? I'm holding the end of this pole. <laughs> what's that to the service? I can watch it, not smash it. Father, so this ends against the wall. But if you slew your end round a bit, I might get it through that door. How about you? Shove your end round to your left a bit. Right. You want it on the paper? Take my phone. Tell him the other end. How's you making that noise? It says oh. here that if two circles touch one another externally, the straight line which joins their centers will pass through the point of contact. Yes, well, we've just done that. Oh, yes, I'm aware of that. But going to the prescribed limits of the rectangle, i.e., the street being less than the inordinate length of the straight line, i.e., the pole, you're attempting to turn the greater into the less, which is absurd. The pole should be elevated to the perpendicular. Q.E.D. I'll oh, do him. Certainly not. I'll do him myself. Get out of it! Get out of it! Now look at him, permanent symptom. All we're going to do is to elevate the pole to the perpendicular. How about you? Come here. You go and take it into the pole and raise it as high as you can. Okay. You can't get away with this. I told you before, take my book. I don't care my dog.
your dog. That's not your stomach. That is your abdomen. Your stomach is up here. Look, 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 look. What's going on here? You're in the abdomen, in the stomach. You must get up to feet. Now, I'm not giving it a go. Oh, yes, you can. Increase the angle of the base by raising the apex of the hypotenuse, i.e., by leaning out of that window and dislodging the far extremity of the pole, QED. QED. I'll give you an SOC in the IE if you don't be out. Oh, EG. Albert, get up in that room and see if you can shift it. Oh! Hey, you want all the bed? Move over. 
coal now in the first place, we wouldn't have had all those arguments with the insurance company. I still think it's a waste of time. Listen, my lad, if it's good enough for those swank pots in London, it's good enough for us. Yes, trying a bit of ivy up it to look every night. Ivy? What do you think we're making, a grotto? Yes. Go on, Albert, up you go and slide down it. What, me? Well, somebody's got to test it. Well, you tested it, your pole. Yeah, all right, all right. I'm not afraid of sliding down the pole. Mm, I don't wonder. You've been up one for years. Ha ha ha! Get out of it. Go on, get on with your dusting. Have you sandpapered that? Oh, yes, ever since moved. Ah, right. Well, stand well back because I might make a fast landing. Hey, is that a nail? No. Screw. Do you mean to tell me you're going to let me slide down onto that? Well, the earth is near the bottom. Yes, <clears throat> that's just what I mean. Well, take it out immediately. Hey, do you smell something burning? Hey, I'll bottle, I'll bottle. get your water, quick. The stove's on fire. <coughs> oh, 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 get in the stove, burning down every fire. Well, get the fire extinguisher, quick. Oh. Yes, that is fast. <laughs> Oh, 
photographs on the front page of every newspaper in the country. Oh, like Garbo and Giddy. Uh, Garbo and Giddy. Some of that's all you think about, women and wine. Hey, have mercy. Steady, Lockett. Steady, Lockett. Stay on the floor. Put it down. Put the boat away, lad. Why, Captain Ellick? Uh, oh, well, that depends. I mean, uh, you haven't come on behalf of someone, have you? As a matter of fact, we have. Uh, oh, well, I'm afraid he won't see you. No, we haven't come with a red buddy. We've got a swell proposition for him. Oh, well, in that case, I am the captain. How are you? Cut the clowning and get the captain, will you? Oh, but I am the captain. <laughs> <laughs> Why, don't you believe me? Albert, Albert, Come here. Hey, tell these gentlemen what I am. What, out loud? Yes, sir. Hey, hey, no funny gags. Am I, am I not the fire captain? Oh, that. Yes, he is the captain at the moment. Well, I'm glad to know you, Captain. But we're from the Gomsper Picture Corporation. Oh. Uh, well, we don't want to buy any pictures. We've got one upstairs. You don't understand. We make films, movies, pictures. Oh, I'd like to go on a picture. Yeah. What, well, I stand in for the Seven Dwarfs? Yeah. Hmm. We're not wanting any actors as yet. We're making an historical picture called The Conquest of Fire. And oh, I see. It's sort of a blazes through the eight. Exactly. And we want your fire engine. Uh, you want what? We want your fire engine. We'll give you a good price for it. Certainly not. We'll make it worth your while. Oh, I bet you would. Well, the idea is preposterous. You might just as well go to some packless station and ask for a couple of platforms. Okay, if you can afford to turn down real money. Oh, well, uh, how long would you want it for? Oh, just a few hours. Yes, but suppose the fire alarm went while it was away. Huh. We can easily stop that. Ow. Put a sock in it. Uh, uh, yes. Um, you see, it's... Um, it's worth 20 pounds, sir. Well, uh, there are a lot of other film companies after our engine, too, you know. Uh, all right. 30 pounds, then. That's better. And now, and the balance when we take the engine. It's a deal. Uh. Uh, I suppose we couldn't have the balance now and the other 10 when you take the engine. I can see you're a businessman. All right. 10 pounds more. Can I have a receipt for it? Blimey, you can have the station for it. Hey, you speak when you're spoken to. Give me a piece of paper. How would you like the receipt worded? Uh, to hire a fire engine, 30 pounds. Uh, to hire a fire engine, 30 pounds. Received on account, 20 pounds. P.S. Uh, 10 pounds to cut. There you are. Well, you better keep ringing me up every morning to see when you can have it. When we can have it? But we want it for tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh, no, that's impossible. No, I've got a very important demonstration to do first. Why are you double-crossing it? Uh, when did you figure on us having it? Well, let me see. Today's Monday. Now, if they test my formula on Wednesday, you can have it on Thursday. Or till late Friday. Well, if that's the way it is, Cap. I guess that'll have to do. I'll phone you. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Come on, dip me up. I want my ten quid. Uh, your ten quid? Oh, I like that. Three's in the thirty, that's ten quid each. Come on, cough up. I'll do nothing of the kind. Sorry, I haven't got thirty quid. I've only got 20. No, you've only got 10. That makes us square. Well, would you believe it? Yes, so you don't. Here, look here, come here. You'll have to wait till those gentlemen have paid the balance. Well, when will that be? Just as soon as they've tested my formula in London. Yes, but that might not be for months and months and months. Well, look at the interest you'll get. What, what, what interest? Well, the interest looking forward to your money, you yes. see. What I want to know is... Never mind, Adam, what are you up? Let's get on with your sweeping. Yes, yes, that's all I do. Get on with your sweeping. Oh, pick on me. Anybody would think I was a boy. I'm older than that two put together. Who always gets the worst of it here? Me. Who always has to drink out of the crack cup? Me. Who gets no fried bread in the morning? Me. Why don't you stand up for yourself? No use. They wouldn't listen to me. They wouldn't listen to me. I'm just a... Oh, little... Oh, Cinderella. Well, we wasted six months trying to figure that out before. That'll be Hank. Open the gates. I tell you, it's the craziest stunt I've ever heard of. You said that about the bullion job at Hest. Yeah, but bullion and crown jewels are two different things. It's impossible, Chief. To start with, there's no way of getting in the tower. That's just it. There was no way, but I... Did you get it? As good as. There's uh, just a little matter when we collect it. Great. 
We told them we wanted it for a movie. <laughs> and they swallowed it. Surely you never saw three goofier guys. Did you get a good look at the engine? It's identical. Where's the book? The only difference is theirs has shafts and the tar engine has hand gear. We'll soon fix that. Show them to Daring here. He still believes we can't do it. I still don't see. Now, this, in the case of a fire in the tar, this engine is allowed to go in and out without question. And 20 minutes is all we want. Underweight and a half of soap, 14 gallons of K2SO4. Yes, send me up another dozen. Thank you. Oh, you know, this would have been cheaper. We'd have bought it by the barrel. Oh, don't talk nonsense. Something's back on every bottle. Look at all those empties. Good as money in the bank. Six, eight, ten. Oh, that reminds me. What about my tenner? It's Friday now. I can do with a bit on account. You, you'll get tuppence on account if you don't shut up. What I want to know is, do I get my tenner by Saturday or don't I? You don't. Ah, all right. Then I hope the invention don't work, see? Cool, there's a friend for you. Putting a curse on it for a measly tenner. Hey, put that down. If I can't get paid one way, I'll take it another for there. You get up there and cut some soap. Go on. The knife's on top. Hurry up. Cut some soap. I seem to do is cut. I'll slice it up quickly. I don't make the lumps too big. And if this knife slips, I'll cut me throat. Well, if you do, lean back and don't muck up my formula. Hey, it's any full. Is it? Good. Well, that's that. Yes. Now we're going to have some package for my new turnout apparatus. Turnout apparatus. <laughs> Just a lot of junk. Junk? You ever fell into my patent harness, Clopper? It's more like a poor and a shot to me. Uh, listen, I'm fed up with you two, Grumbling. You're going to use that gear and like it. We'll have a package turnout now. What, now? They'll be open in ten minutes. Well, let me, the only turnout you understand is time, gentlemen, please. Go on, follow me. Well, here we are. Now then. I turn the wheel, the horse box opener, and at the same time, I pull these chains, you see? And the wallop in the stable slaps the horse sparkly on the, uh, uh, well, whichever way he's standing, and he comes out onto the turntable. I know, it says, who's been walloping my porridge? <laughs> oh, very funny, very funny. Yes, well, I said I was going to mechanize this fire for the day, and I've done it. Now, uh, I've got it. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, no, you don't. You come back here. Come on. We're going to try this. Now, you ready? Go. The alarm rings. Down the pole, out with the horse, down with the turntable, down with the shaft, on with the harness, and out we go. They are seven and a half seconds. Mm. We made a smart getaway, didn't we? Yes. yes but we're still here. Well, of course we're still here. I'm just trying to explain it to you, thickhead. I mean, I've been lying awake at night thinking how it could be done. Yes, and I've been lying awake at night thinking how I've been done. If you only let the picture blow up that engine, I'd have had my tenor for now. Now, listen, once and for all, that engine's staying in my possession till I've had a chance of demonstrating my formula in London. Yes, but why wait for London? Why not have a fire here and tell London all about it? Oh, it? Don't, don't, don't you understand? It's got to be a big fire. Something London's bound to hear about. Something that my invention can put out so quickly it'll be a sensation. There's nothing big enough here. Hey, where are you going? Yeah, I might never live to see a fire as big as that. Don't worry. You will where you're going in a few years' time. Oops. Oh, for me? Grump was to pay. Huh? Grump was to pay. What for? The stamps come off. Well, you don't expect me to pay for that, do you? I mean, I didn't stick it on. The grump was to pay anyhow. Oh. Well, Albert? Plenty of money. I've got a ten-pound note you can't have. Oh. Well, well, you better leave the letter. We'll uh, pay tomorrow. Against regulations. No money, no letter. Good evening. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That letter may be important. Well, it must have some change somewhere. Albert, turn out your pockets. Yeah, that's all I've got. A penny. Right. Penny. Now, let me see. There you are. There's a penny and there's an empty with tuppence on it. Give me the letter. I suppose it's all right. Of course it's all right. There's tuppence on it. It's legal tender. Well, we're very busy now. Good night, my man. Good night. Good night. Hey, where do you think you're going? I think the fire. What fire? Fire at the petrol station. What petrol station? Petrol station next door to the town hall. Yeah. Good well, gracious. Is the big fire? Give me a chance. I've only just lit it. Oh, well, we may be in time now. Sure what? I've only just lit it. Do you tell me you shine that fire yourself? That's right. What are you for? For my ten quid. <laughs> Here you are. I told you. I told you. Oh, oh, oh. Blimey. Well, that's criminal. That's deliberately incinerating. Never mind about the argument. Remember what the mayor said. This is a test case. Why don't that fire put
put out a way off. Well, what are you waiting for? Come on, follow me. Those 
course I am. There's only five. I counted them. And then I shall put it to the vote. All those in favor? So we dismissed, eh? I'm afraid so. Eh? Well, what about our two weeks' money? Yes. We've always had that. Here, what about my thousand? You will hand in the key of the fire station. And tomorrow morning, the equipment will be checked. Oh. Yes, hello, yes? Speaking? My house? Yes. Oh, what about it? It's what? It? Good heavens! What's happened? My house is on fire! Viking! Quick! Get out the engine! Uh, oh, me? Oh, no. Oh, my house is ablaze! Oh, I can't know that. I'm shacked. Oh, but you can't see my house burnt to the ground. Can't I? Oh. Hey, let him have a go at it. He's clever about putting fires out. Yeah, and we'll go and watch him. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 look at the smoke. Look at it. Uh, he better hurry. <laughs> He's going lovely, ain't he? <laughs> Good Lord, the whole room's on fire. For my sake, man, you you must go. Uh, listen, we'll go on one condition. Yes, yes. You give us back our jobs. Oh, anything only. Hurry, hurry. Right. Uh, we'll say fire brigade. Forward. Hurry, boys, make it snappy. Come on, boys. Back. Okay, Tim. Well. Throw it up the back and let's get going. Right. Blimey, that's in London. How'd you get there? Here. 
I think it'd be handy name, but he followed it. Yeah. Listen, Inspector Orley, what does it matter who's got it? We haven't got him, and we haven't got a job either. Got a knife? That's another thing we haven't got. Oh, well, I've got a little gun feel in my pockets. And I know what's in those pockets, so don't try and knock anything off. Nothing worth knocking off. Hey, that's your foot, Mr. Pay letter. You haven't even known it yet. I'm not surprised. What were those two fires and you two fatheads? I've no time for anything. Yeah, it reminds me. I wonder how that fire's going on. Ah, oh, don't talk, Sean. Hey, listen to this. London Fire Brigade Headquarters. Dear sir, our analyst reports favorably on your formula. Could you be available to demonstrate here at 3 o'clock on the 15th? We are made. That'll teach you to sack us. 15th? Yes, tomorrow. You can't do it. Yeah, oh, why can't I do it? We haven't got an engine. No? Well, we've got all night to find it, and we're going to. Yeah. Where'd they say they have person? In Clink. I know that, but which Clink? I remember a place called Whacking Big Steps. A place called what? Whacking Big Steps. Whacking Big Steps. Yeah. Whooping old stairs. Oh. Ah. <sighs> Hello, is the, uh, is the fire out yet? Oh, yes, you will. Burn town. Arrest those men. Oh, usual kind of horse, you know, oblong and blunt at one end. Yeah. And when he's clean, he's a white draft horse. Yes, he's got the ale on his ankle. Uh, and the name of Percy. Yes, here it is. It was brought in at 5.45. Do you know when he was found if he had a fire engine on him or not? Don't try to be funny. Is this your horse or isn't it? Yeah. Of course it's our horse. Well, there's five shillings to pay. Yeah. Five shillings? I mean, do we have to bail him out? A shilling police fee and four shillings for his food. Blimey, what have you been giving him? Chicken? He's had two buckets of hay and chopped oats. Yeah. Chopped oats? Oh, he's to give him sawdust. He doesn't know the difference. Look, you're wasting my time. Sign here, give me the five shillings and take the horse away. All right, well, where is he? He's tied up in the yard. What? Out in the cold in that cop of his? Oh, hey, if that horse gets drunk, I'll report you to the RSPCA. There he is. Is he the golden horse? That's from Daddy. That's from Daddy. That's from me. Oh, Get your whiskers out of his mouth, will you? We've got work to do. Go on, I'm tired. Oh, I don't like. Go on, Ed. Whoa, Percy. Whoa. Oh, good boy. Uh, now, listen. Where'd you leave the engine? Was it that way? Huh. Well, was it that way? Uh -huh. Well, was it straight ahead? Uh -huh. huh. He don't know much, do he? No, but even that, he knows more than you. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's shout fire and see which way he goes. Good. Fire! Fire! Ah. <laughs> got any more bright ideas? Yeah, let's tie him up again and go back home. Oh, that woke him up. What did you do? Well, I only kicked that tin. Did you? Yeah. Now, look. When I shake this tin, we'll all shout fire, you see? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. At two minutes twelve, Jim will cut the fire alarm wires which run along this wall of the tower. At midnight exactly, Len and Mike will be at this spot with our smoke box. Are they both set? Yes, they went in with the visitors this afternoon. The van will be here. At twelve strikes, you will pass in as the tower fire brigade. You will make straight for the jewel tower leaving the engine here so as to block that open. Hank and Jim, you both know your job. Oh, yes. Sure we well, that's all. The success of this plan depends on every move being timed to the split second. It's now 11.33 exactly. The van will leave here in four minutes, so get along. They're locked. Uh, what do we do now? Let's ring the bell and ask for our engine back. Don't be silly, we can't do that. We don't know if the engine's there. We've only got Percy's word for it. Let's look through a crack in the door. There ain't any crack. Yeah, I'll give you a bunk up, then you can climb over the top. Yeah. What, up there? Yeah. yeah. Well, suppose I sit on those spikes. Well, if you sit on them firmly, they won't hurt you. Yeah? Well, you try that. I'm going to try the wall. The tire's still here. Yeah, but there's no spikes. We'll never get over there. Oh, yes, we will. Our bottle, turn Percy round. Look, we'll, we'll, we'll get on to Percy's back. Then you two climb up on my shoulders, you see? Come on. Oh, Percy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. I, 
Now, come on, let's make a start. I'll get up first, then you two get up onto my shoulders, and when you both get the top, you pull me up after you. Give me a bunk up, come on. Here, here, here. How do we get Percy up? See? How do we get Percy up? What do I want to get Percy up for? And we can get down the other side. Uh, all right, all right. I'll bring Percy up under my arm. Here, take my helmet. Climb up onto my shoulders. All right, make your hand into a seat. Yeah. What have I got to hang on with me, Keith? Well, that's how they do it in the circus. Yeah. I suppose you'd like me to juggle a couple of other at the same time, would you? Go ahead, up you get, up you get. Keep still up there. Seems easy. Yeah, I can. Oh, don't tickle me. There's that dog on horse again. Come on, come on now. Come on now. Get out of here. Come on. Beat it. Come on. Come on. Scram. Get out of here. Go on. Beat it. Beat it. On your way. Oh. I thought you said you saw Percy galloping down the street. I said I heard a clatter of hoofs. Uh, your brain's rattling. That's what it was. Now we don't know where we are. Cool, look. Windsor Castle. Yeah. Windsor Castle. Windsor Castle's in Scotland. That's the Tower of London, where the swear word tower is. No, that's in Blackpool. Oh, yeah, and I wish you were there with it, too. Oh, look. Look, it's perfect. Oh, hey, where did you come from? Oh, I thought I heard you. Hey, the engine can't be far away. Uh, didn't they say they were making an historical film? Yes. Well, very likely they're filming in the tower. Oh. Follow me. Oh, come on, boy. Come on, boy. Oh, oh two goes there. Uh, uh, please don't back us in the horse. Advance one and give the countersign. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Go on, push off or else I'll call the guard out. Hop it, go on. Yeah, but... I'm sorry, I, I only wanted to ask if you... It's all right. There you are. I only want to ask if you knew if they were filming. Now what are you doing to the fan? Oh, shoot me. Uh, Pente. Huh? Oh, I say, mister. Uh, right, right. Wait. Huh? Oh, listen, listen, listen. I, I don't want to interrupt your work. Mark uh, time. You know what you want? Uh, could you tell me if they're filming in there? Filming? Yeah, ask him about our engine. Oh, yeah, here. Yeah. We're looking for a fire engine like this. Have you seen it anywhere? Of course I have. It's in the West Bastion. Forward! Uh, eh? In the West Bastion. Well, hear what he said. And I only asked him a civil question. Well, he told you he means one of those round fault things in the West Corner. Oh, is that what he meant? Oh, I see. Hey, there you are. Tower 5 again. Hey, perhaps they know something about it. Where? Know hmm. something? Lummy, they've got it! Cool. Oh, I see them knocking it off. Yes. Hey, anybody there? All right, boys, get her out and turn
Ambitious, aren't you? Try to get away with the crown jewel. We would have got away with them too if it hadn't have been for this muck. Hey, what is it anyway? Oh, whatever it is, it seems to have made a pretty good job of you, fellas. Just what I was thinking. I'd like to meet the men responsible for this. 